Within sight of the Murray County Courthouse, this stretch of the Duck River offers recreationists and sportsmen a chance to get away from it all. People my generation, we got out on it to fish or to duck hunt, you know. But now there's a lot of people just using it for recreational purposes from kayaking, canoeing. Over the years, the Duck River has become part of Ed Penrod's life. It's uh, just a community resource that we have, and most of us know that this is a real jewel, but sometimes we don't treat it that way. To be sure, the Duck is not the only river marred by pollution, but it is one of the most biodiverse bodies of water in North America. That's one reason why Ed is heading up today's cleanup effort. Well, I used it for many, many years and I felt like I sort of owed this river something. What we're really trying to concentrate on now is getting some of the large volume of litter like automobile tires and things of that sort. Right now we've got a, see a kind of a tractor tire, a couple of uh, automobile tires, rugs, mattresses, plastics, gas cans, uh, just stuff that people have been throwing in the river over the years. Will Craft normally works for the Murray County Fire Department, but on this Saturday, he's joined about a hundred other volunteers to clean up this four mile stretch of the duck. Of course, we've got some, some juveniles out here helping us too. Uh, they got most of this stuff. We're using our boat to get big tires and bringing them back up here to them so they can carry it up there to uh, whoever's taking them away from the river. There's no limit to what people dump here, from all kinds of metal, to shopping carts, to countless tires, all littering the scenic waterway and its banks, threatening the wildlife living here. When you have to look at um, old tires and shopping carts and garbage, it's, it's just kind of disappointing to me to see that, you know, people don't respect the land and um, our resources and, and things to do that. TWRA Wildlife Officer Pam McDonald's love for the duck comes from the days her grandmother took her fishing along its banks. It's just something that's littering up the river and making it look bad. Before you do something like that, just, you know, take it to the landfill or, or whatever you need to do, but don't throw it in the river. Those who enjoy the duck know about their emotional attachment to it. Steve Erdman brought his two sons to help out. So far, we picked up just a lot of uh, styrofoam cups, bottles, cans, tires. They share the feelings of the other volunteers. I feel very good about it. It gives me a chance to be out with my boys and spend some quality time with them and let them see that it's important to contribute to the community and to the rivers and keep our wildlife clean. With the demands of a growing population, the Duck River faces the challenges of today's world. Pollution, water needs of nearby cities, and abuse by its users, to name a few. We want to continue to use it as a natural resource for fishing and, and just outdoor events. We need to keep it clean. There's also a growing recognition that this unique body of water is a national treasure, to be treated as such. But it takes the help of everyone, not just these dedicated volunteers. So just put your trash back in your bag or your cooler and carry it out with you. And if each one of us would do things like that, then we wouldn't even have a need to be here today, you know, doing this cleanup.